It was a world-renowned company. I thought it would be one of the best places I've ever worked for in my life. I've been proven that that is false. Today at Honda, it is just, it's, it's horrible. It is absolutely horrible. I mean, we're the bottom of the barrel now. It needs to go back to where it was, and we need a union to do that. UAW launching a campaign that could cause a massive shift in the auto industry. They are moving their sights farther afield and trying to expand the union beyond its typical footprint. The group is now starting to campaign to organize workers at 13 non-union automakers in the U.S. I had no, no union interest at all or any knowledge on the union until back in September when the big three went on strike. I was like, okay, so these guys are doing it. They obviously have issues. Why aren't we? Well, we saw the, the contracts that the big three got and it really piqued a lot of people's interest because we seen they were getting a lot of things that we don't have at Honda. The, the issues that have been going on have been going on for quite a while at this point. Like myself personally, I went out and bought a bunch of UAW stickers and started handing them out to people if they were interested. I was, it's like, this is a really great way to, to show that unity with each other that, hey, we, we can stand up, we, we can do this. I you know, knew there was going to be pushback, but I didn't think that they were going to be so blatant and violating our rights just openly for everyone to see. It was the day after people started wearing the stickers, we had managers coming out telling people we can't we can't wear them. Tried to tell us that the UAW is telling us to come into Honda and f it up. In their words, this is what management has told us. Just the other day, I got pulled into admin and I'm currently being investigated for disclosing confidential information on social media. Honda's response has been uh, nothing but anti-union propaganda to deter people from signing authorization cards. They say we're losing our rights, and I mean, everybody obviously knows it's all big freaking joke because we don't have any rights anyway. So how are we gonna lose them? They're scared. They wouldn't be having managers wearing anti-union stickers or intimidating people. I mean, literally we've had people say that their managers have told them well, you can't bring the union here because it takes Honda's right to fire you away. If they were doing things they were supposed to be doing and treating people fairly, then they wouldn't have this fear in them. There's people being injured almost on a daily basis. Just within the last two weeks in my area alone, we've had two people that had to go on restrictions due to injuries caused at Honda. Back in 2019, um, I had, I got injured. They came out and they were telling me all these things that, you know, you need to be mindful, you need to pay attention, you, you might have been talking. And I finally looked at them. I said, you know what? This is not my fault that I got hurt. And she's like, oh, we're not saying that. I said, yes, you are. You have sat here for the last 10 minutes telling me pretty much it's my fault I got hurt. Not that I was rushing because the processes are overloaded. It's because I was busy talking is what you're saying. Uh, there's been two situations particularly where I said I would have never had to have had these surgeries if they had listened to me. I uh, blew out a shoulder, um, first shift and second shift, had been complaining to management on each shift about the situation. They did nothing about it. Where do I go to get help when I need help? Because I went the right route. I went through the compliance and ethics. I went to HR. I had all these, this evidence of what had been happening and they didn't care. And I have nobody there when I get in a situation to back me. And, and so that's why we need a union. It's exactly why. Management tells us what to do. And we follow, we have to. But if we unionize and we come together and we, we have a union, we can have some say and not have to follow their direction. We will actually have a voice. You know, if we just stand up and we know we will not get fired for this because we are protected. We just told them straight up, we're not taking these stickers off. It's protected and we're gonna wear them. We're showing support to each other. They told us 
well, we're gonna go into admin, we're gonna see what we can do about this. So we are filing an unfair labor practice charge against Honda because of management illegally telling us to remove union stickers from our hats for basically threatening us with write-ups for bad quality, saying that the union's telling us to do this, even though that's clearly not true. So it's essentially to show Honda that we know what our rights are and that they're not gonna bully us and we're not gonna back down from them and we know that they are in the wrong. I just want people to understand that we are only strong by numbers and we need people. Um, I know it's gonna take time. I know it's gonna take all of us to get together and make this happen, but when it does, it's gonna pay off. My message to my coworkers is we have to stand up. We have to be strong. Enough is enough. I'm already out here on the front lines. I, my, my job is on the line at this point. They're trying to actively fire me and I'm out here fighting for every one of you. I'm not out here doing this for me. I'm out here doing this for everyone. If, if we don't stand up and, and fight against what's wrong, nothing will ever change. You can go and complain to your friends and complain to your family all day, every day, but unless you're willing to go out and do something about it, it's not ever gonna change.